In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can run Python code using Kaggle. Kaggle is a platform for data science and machine learning tasks. You can also use it for some bioinformatics activities. So basically, we are running Python codes online. And so uh, with Kaggle, you have access to GPUs and then TPUs as well. This accelerator that can also help you to speed up your machine learning tasks. And so with this exercise, you need to make sure you have an internet browser and an internet connection. Okay, these are the two things that we need. So without further ado, let's start the exercise. So you will need to first go to the cargo homepage. So this is a page. Okay, so first of all, you need to sign in if you have an account. If you don't have an account, register using this button here. Click on register. And then you'll be sent to another page. Okay, so let's click that registration link here. Yeah, so there's a page. So on this page, you can just register with Google. Or that one, just you just need to make sure you have signed into Google. Okay, so if you are using your email to you just have to come here, register with your mailing and just sign in here. So once you are done, you will go to the home page. You'll be sent to the home page here. So on the home page. I have some news feed popping up for me here, but um, that's what um, comes to me anyway. So we we'll proceed. So we will explore some of the features. This video is an introductory one. So I am currently preparing some other videos where I take you through all the features in Kaggle, but um, that will also uh, be posted um, once it's ready. So just uh, wait for that um, as well. So let's proceed. So. First of all, we are looking at creating uh, notebooks. That is what we will use to run the Python code. So that's what we will do for this tutorial. We will just keep it short and then simple. So come to this side here. Click the Create button. And then here, uh, you can create data sets or you can create notebooks. Okay, so because we are going to run Python code, we will use a notebook. So just click on New Notebook. And then once you click on it, the notebook will be opened for you. So let's wait for it to open. So we have the notebook open for us. So once it's open, you have this coming up. There's a cell. Okay, so there's some um, codes here just to um, help you do some testing. I mean, initial testing of your of your project or your work. So we have it here. So first of all, let's just delete it. I'll also use it to show you some of the things we do here. So um, this a cell. A code cell so let's first delete it to delete a cell uh, just make sure you click that cell and then just come to this side delete and then just uh, delete it so you just delete it that is how we delete cells so we now have one cell here there's a code cell okay so we have two types of cells so cells are for entries so you can have entries for code you can have entries for text other text normal text which are no code so those ones we use markdown but we look at all of them here so let's start with the code so there's a cell for code so let's just type it here. let's say print bioinformatics so there's a code in the cell so let's just run it so to run it you use the button here and then just uh, run it so let's click on it and then you have and the code running for us okay so we have the code here executed for us and so we can see the output here so and that is uh, done for us so um, aside just this particular one here you can have more than one line okay in a particular cell so let's just say we want to add another line of code here we can just add let's say print let's just type anything just uh, there's uh, some sequences here some basis here so let's run it so to run it you can use this button here or you can also use the control and the enter key when you are using your keyboard so this time i'll use the keyboard to do the um, execution so control and then enter will run the code for you so that is a shortcut that you can use for running so Let's proceed. So now let's continue. So we've done this. Aside this, you can also add additional cells. 
So let's say you want to add another cell. You can just come here and then just click on the add a code cell. So let's add another code. Let's say colons. And then you can just run it. Let's say this. And then you can just run it. So I'll use the keyboard shortcut to run it. So it has been done for us here. So this is how we add codes. Okay. So with these codes, you can also shift them up. As I've done here by dragging them up and down just to interchange them. Okay. So you can also do that with the mouse. You can also use a um, keyboard shortcut, but those things, I think I'll just leave some useful links. You can just do that to check in case. And you want to know how to use uh, the keyboard shortcut for other activities. So let's proceed. So aside the code cells, you can also add markdown cells. So markdown cells are for text, uh, non-codes, um, simply. Uh, so to add the markdown, you just come here and then just add it. And then you just enter. So the difference between the code and the markdown is that with the codes, you look, look at what is here. The markdown here, you have when you are editing, you have this here just to help you to do some formatting. So let's just enter some code. This is a Python notebook. So we have it here. So this is how we do the, the markdown. You can also use Control Enter to exit, save and exit from the markdown. Or you can just run it here just to get it done as well so that's how we do it now with the markdown you can also add you can format it's using the markdown language so you can use the markdown language to format so let's say you want to add a, a, a text which is bold let's come here let's add it here that's how we do it bold text more the markdown language to us will be uh, for a different session so we just um, Stay tuned for that as well. So you can do this and then just uh, this can just run it. So we have it there. Okay. But we expect that this one here and then this one here, they will be in separate lines. So you can add line breaks. So just click on it and then just add a line break. We use the slash here. And then once you run it, you have it here. So this is how uh, we do the um, formatting. Okay. You see the markdown language so aside this let's just go back so it is it by the way for course and then the markdown so aside this let's just look at the other features so here you can add you can just um click and create a new notebook you can also upload notebooks from a local pc you can also link to github if you have a github account you can um, link and just run some python course from there as well you can download notebook uh, you have these other features there, but these things I'll go into details with um, separate videos. So just stay tuned. Aside that, you can add data here. Just come to this side, the right side here. You can just follow my cursor. Right side here, you can just add data. So here, with the data sets, you can have your own data sets if you have them. That's those tied to your accounts. At the moment, I don't have any data uploaded there, but you would have seen it here. Okay, aside that, you can have your favorites if there are data sets which has been tagged as a favorite, they will be here. CSV, we have lots of them. So with the data sets, we have this side here where um, you basically search the entire cadre, okay, for data sets. And then if you want to narrow down, you can just use these ones to narrow down to where in cadre you want to get the data. And you can also have competition data. You can have notebook output files. I mean, there are lots of things here. So this is how you get data. You can also upload from your local PC using this button here as well. So Kaggle offers all these cool features for you. Aside that, you have environment preferences. So environments, um, it's just for uh, packages. Uh, one of the things you do with the environment preferences is to um, look at which packages to use. So by default, it's original environment. So you don't have new packages, you use your codes with the existing packages. Okay, if you want to use latest environments, that way you get latest package versions here. You can just use that here. 
and then you can just uh, save your preference but i will leave it so these are things you can do to also um, get other things to do aside the code because once you are writing the code it's a project and you might want to add other things to it so these are things you do just to um, get your stuff going yes so on our side okay yeah so we are back to our codes so um, by default the notebooks are saved automatically for you and so even if you go back to another page you can still come back and then just get it there okay so um, that is another thing you need to also know aside that there are other things that you can explore but i'll leave them so let's just go back to the home page i'll just uh, go back uh, here yeah before you go back so this one when you click you will run all the codes here this one is for um, individual cells okay and if you want to change your particular cell to another type let's say markdown you can do it here and then just it will turn into a markdown for you you can also turn it back to code and then just get it down here so uh, these are things you can do okay so factory resets is there stop session and you have i mean these are things you just need to explore so i'm just showing you how to do all these things so aside this you can also save a version of your work here and then aside that you can go to home okay in case you want to go back to home and then just check some other stuff and then here let me just go back here just for the kesa here we also have access to um, history so your work recently viewed in case you viewed some stuffs here and you can see them here recently edited notebooks you can see them here as well so there's more like a history for you there are other things here we have courses data set competitions and all these things are there so in a nutshell cargo has um, lots of packages and lots of features for you to run your python codes do data science machine learning bioinformatics tasks they're all using your browser so you don't have to download and install python locally on your pc okay because sometimes because of computational challenges and maybe the hassle and tussle of installing packages you might want to switch to an online uh, version and of course the downside of using the online and platforms is that you need to have internet so i just take note of that so um, that will be all for this tutorial and then you should be expecting some more um, tips and tricks on how to use cargo for your um, data analytics and related stuff okay so let me also get your comments on how this video can be improved and then we can have some discussions going on so and that'll be all for this tutorial and i'll see you in the next session goodbye